Shalom, Kol Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folk scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And then, uh, real, real, real quick, I want to go into this um, story. Okay, it says KC Chiefs Parade when Hamas supporters opened fire on innocent spectators. Okay, and I turned the audio off. All right, I turned the audio off because all you, you know, you, you hear gunshots and people screaming. Um, and this is the time we in, man. This ain't the time to be trying to have a good time and enjoy yourself and go out and, you know, what, 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 be wherever the crowd at, you know, you know how Jake say back in the day or, you know, probably still today. Oh, what, what, where, 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 where everybody finna be at? You don't want to be where everybody finna be at, cause this is going on. All right. Um, there's a shooting. You know, uh, multiple people injured, and uh, shot. You know, and it, just in this video alone, you heard about 20 shots go off, man. You know, in this little time frame, you know, 20 second time frame, you heard 20 shots go off. So, we in that time where you know, great death and destruction is going to amp up. You know, and uh, you 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 really should consider, um. You know what spirit you, what what spirit you are in, all right. So I ain't gonna make this too long. I just want to you know to to bring this out. I got some more videos here that I want to uh that I want to go into. All right. It says can't even have a parade anymore. At least one dead and nine injured at the case. <laughs> Sure, what's going on? These guys are here the phone right at the bottom. Well, it's just tackling somebody. We go up here, it says three dark skinned white teens arrested at the badge didn't get the KC parade. No way, bro. Bro. No way, bro. Bro. So there you go. And this is just on X. I'm just, you know, this thing was trending, so I, I, I type, I, I, I hit it. It says, I will say this for Missouri. Those good old boys know how to tie a hog. Come, can come in handy. Check out these two dudes tackling one of the alleged shooters at the Chief Parade in KC. All right, so it was one of the shooters. They tackled him. <laughs> it says, this is why we can't have nice things. One shitbag being led away in handcuffs after shooting at KC Chief's Celebration Parade. Like I said, this is off, off of, um, X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, it says, here's a few videos of the situation I was in the middle of right before the bullshit. So, look at these people. Wow, so this is right where, that building is right where, 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 where that, you know, where, where that crowd I showed you in, in the beginning, where all them people ran. But you see these people, they, you know, what spirit are they in? Drag circuit. See a lot of jigs in the crowd too. Let's see what's up here. Keep that thing on the left. Keep that light. So there you go. All right. People came out for the for the Super Bowl. One of the KC Pro Pro Rate shooters. You know, like Jake. You know, had a had a part in it. There, look, and 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 then this damn agent come 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 in here. There need to be more strict gun laws, especially when toddlers are dying. We can't have that in our communities, right? So they put this, you know, uh, put this puppet up there. Made him say that, ultimately because they want to get take, get rid of the um the uh, the, the uh, guns. All right. So that's the point. I just want to, you know, show a few of these videos. 
Man who tackled alleged KC Chiefs Super Bowl parade speaks JR, out. JR, catch him. You know, tackle him. What up? Let's see what he got to say. One guy was hollering, saying, you know, stop him. JR, catch him. You know, tackle him, whatever. And he's just, just bailing, running. And out of nowhere, I heard that guy hollering. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm right here. And I just, I didn't even think about it. It was just a reaction. I didn't hesitate. It was just, just do it. So I went to go tackle him, and another gentleman did the same thing. And as I'm tackling him, I see his weapon either fall out of his hand mm -hmm. or out of his sleeve because he was wearing a long jacket or like a Carhartt. So when I seen that hit the ground, I'm like, oh, you know, we got to take this guy down. And so, like I said, I did, and another good Samaritan did, and we held him down. And it seemed like forever, but it probably wasn't. It was like 30 seconds holding him down, and me and – the other gentleman and hollering at ongoers, you know, where's the cops? Where's, you know, get the cops over here, get the cops over here. You know, we got them. Mm. One guy was hollering and saying. So there you go. All right, that's pretty much it on that. Let's grab some scriptures. Going to the book of Amos. Let me make sure this mic is on first and foremost. Okay, we good. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid, shall there be evil in a city, and Yahweh have not done it. So the Lord put, you know, the spirit on these damn niggas, look like some, some niggas to do what they did, you know, for, 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 for his purpose. Okay, the Lord is bringing judgment in these cities. Okay, evil means goes into bad times. And that was a bad time. You know, they, they started off having good. They were swag surfing. And before you know it, you know, the shots rang out. People were scattering like roaches, man. Okay, which go to show you. We ain't in the time for, 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 for folly and bullshit, man. Okay, we are not in the time for folly and bullshit. We in the time of, uh, you know, getting right with your how about you, shy. We're, we're, we're uh, pinting, you know, um, you know, doing the, ne the necessary things to serve your how about you, y'all shy. Because, believe it or not, things are going to get worse out here, man. Okay, things are going to get worse. Okay, and more, you know, um, projectiles, I'll say that, are going to fly. It says, um, Amos chapter 3, verse 6 in the NLT, it says, when the ram's horn blows a warning, which starts with the with, with the prophets, the, the, the prophets are warning you. They're telling you what, what time we're in, what to be aware of, you know, what to look out for. It says, shouldn't the people be alarmed? Or shouldn't you be alarmed? It says, does disaster come in a city to a city unless Yahweh has planned it? Right. So Yahweh Bashim is the one that's doing this. He, he He's the one that's planning this. All right. But those of you that don't know, it's because hey, the Lord is not dealing with you. Verse seven. Indeed, the sovereign Lord never does anything until he reveals his plans to his servants, the prophets. Right. So the prophets know. OK. And the prophets are going to be warning you about this, man. Like we had down here in Tampa. Uh, what, what was that? Uh, October Halloween night, you know, down here in Tampa. You know, one of the spots that we actually used to uh, teach at Ebor City is like a, a major club scene. We used to teach out there and we stopped, we stopped, we stopped going out there because them niggas was getting drunk and it was just coming too much, you know. But um, uh, they had a shooting out there, you know, same, same type of situation. You had, you had, you had niggas out there, you know, apparently one, you know, dude was looking at another dude, girl trying to talk to another dude, girl or something, you know, adultery goes on like crazy out there. You know, and then they, you know, had a shootout. And other guys who wasn't even involved started shooting. And then everybody started shooting. And then, just, you know, bodies started hitting the floor. That's the, the, the times that we in right now. This is, a, this is what you got to be, be mindful of. You know, you don't want to get caught up in this madness, man. All right? That's the whole thing. You don't want to get caught up in this madness. And, and it is a bunch of madness. All right? Um, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Verse two, it says it is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. Right. The living going to lay it to his heart, man. OK. So we we, 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 we ain't in the time uh, of, you know, trying try, trying to see where the holes at, you know, where, where everybody going to be at what a party at, you know, what's that song? Hey, what a party. <laughs> Salakia. Gotta have some fun with this, but uh, <laughs> that's like, hey, what a party yet. We ain't in that spirit, man. Okay, this ain't the time for that, because guess what? What a, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a party yet is where the demon's at. And what the demon's at is where, you know, spirits are going to be taken back to the spirit world. It says, sorrow is better than laughter, 
for by sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. So that that make, that makes you your, your your heart, which means your mind, you know, makes you better in the spirit. OK, it says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Let me read this in NLT. A wise person thinks a lot about death. You know, you and you know, you a a a a, a we, we, we we constantly thinking about you know death and destruction because that's what's coming to the majority of the people of this world, and we're and we're warning you of that. The prophets before me prophesied against great countries, against of 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 uh, evils and pestilences and, and and deaths and destructions. Roughly paraphrasing. But 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 that's what we're telling you is coming to this place. And if you in the right you in your right mind, you are going to consider. This is while a fool thinks about only about having a good time. So a fool is only thinking about having a good time. All right. And that's the difference. We're not thinking about having a good time right now, man. You know, our minds ain't, ain't, ain't on folly and bullshit. We, you know, you, you had time to have fun and, 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 and be all laughing and gay like a child when you when you was a child. She says, when I became a man, I put childish things away. So I ain't dressing up in no fucking Chiefs or, or any fucking u, 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 uniform, which these sports is all rigged anyways, man. You know, that whole shit was already, you know, rigged and planned by the, by the global elites, you know. And then, these, then these fucking peanut gallery people be out there fighting and, pro, and you know, tearing the city up because their team won or their team lost, you know. It's just a, it's all control. People are being very controlled and you don't even know it. It says it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. OK, so it says uh, better it, it to be criticized by a wise person than to be praised by a fool. And these people in the, in the society, they're all they're all they're all into the praises of fools. You know, they're all into, you know, the folly and bullshit, man. Let me grab that. OK. Um, but this just go to show, you know, to be mindful, man. You know, you got to be spiritual in these last days. If not, you're not going to make it. It says Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set a great dignity, which is a, a, a vanity, you know, bullshit. That's set a great dignity here. Everybody's everybody show up for, for a fucking folly parade rather than hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says folly is set in great dignity and the rich set in low places. The, 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 a, 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 the spiritually rich, the prophets. You know, you're not going to find them in the Lord. You know, with, 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 with a whole crowd and a major following. Nah, you know, if anything, we are more despised than anything. All right. And that's the way the Lord said. And, 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 and we fine with that. OK, to hell with this place, man. You see. Let's grab this. This is um, Exodus 23, verse two. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. And that's what, you know, people are when you follow in the crowd, more than likely it, 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 it's, it's going into doing evil, you know, and and the Lord is not with that. You know, they they had their uh, having that parade pretty much worshiping the football team and, 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 and the players, you know, which is, you know, goes into idolatry, you know. But that's why, you know, th that 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 happened, that that's why the Lord, you know, brought that judgment. Which we always bring this out, bring it out again, you know, because somebody, uh, I believe they said one person died and other people injured, you know. So Deuteronomy 32 and verse uh, 39, let's grab it in the NLT actually, I just, just want to see what it say. And I'm going to close out. All right. But, you know, just, just, just a reminder what time we in. Uh. Well, maybe I'll grab that too. Measure all the time diligent. You got to understand what time we in, man. Same the time to be trying to, you know, see where the party at. It says, um, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39 in NLT. It says, look now, I myself am he. And so there is no other God but me. So all you people worshiping these false gods, you better come to the true God of the Bible. It says, there is no other God but me. I am the one who kills and gives life. I am the one who wounds and heals. No one can be rescued from my powerful hand. So the Lord is not a power to be played with, man. All right. The Lord is not a power to be played with. And with that, if you have any type of sense, you you, you are going to acknowledge that. You're going to have to acknowledge Yahweh by Shai. It says 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 
uh, one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently and it's stuff. You should be measuring these times. It's ain't a time of trying to have a good time and see what a party. It's a time to be, uh, you know, more circumspect, you know, uh, 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 afflicting the flesh, you know, uh, praying, you know, constantly in prayer. We are constantly in prayer. OK, if, if you go a day without praying, you ain't you ain't you, you going to fuck off. All right. You're supposed to be constantly in prayer, you know, acknowledging your whole body, you shy, you know, uh, studying, you know, doing, doing, doing your, your uh, shows, you know, growing in the grace thereof, man. OK. It says measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of these signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made and the lord is visiting this world with death and destruction script as read the scripture shall there be evil in the city and the lord have not done it it says therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for like as all that is made in the world hath it hath a beginning and an end and the end is manifested. Right. So the end is manifested. We are witnessing the end of America. OK, the 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 the, the, the final countdown of America. All right. This place is is definitely on its way out. All right. So be mindful of that. You know, uh, get right with your how about you all shy, you know, so you don't get caught, caught, caught up in this destruction, man. It's definitely coming. It's going to be more. Uh, death and destruction, man. But that's the point. With that being said, I'm gonna say Shalom. I'm coming, Shirala, uh, Baba Ball. Uh, double honors to our elders and apostles, great millstone to our truth and truth and sincerity. I praise us as edifying to the whole full life. Shalom.